So I have a confession to make. I cheated. I cheated on vinyl. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm sorry if it hurt vinyl's feelings, but I'm not sorry I did it. Even though I was feeling a little bit guilty at first, I'm not really sorry I did it because I'll probably do it again. And to be honest, I've been doing it for a while, but uh, I'll, t I'll tell you what happened. Um, I, I went to the record store and uh, I, I, I bought a record. You know, look, what's actually right here? I'm gonna pull it up for you. Record that I'd never seen before. You guys have probably never heard of it. It's a rare jazz record, Juju. Uh, live at 131 Prince Street. It's it's uh, pretty out there, free jazz, if you like Coltrane and stuff. But I'd, I'd never heard of it. I just saw it at a record store and thought, uh, I like the way this looks. I want to take it home. And I took it home, and I was too tired to really uh, make it happen because, you know, I wanted to just crash in the bed, and but I wanted to hear it. You know, but I thought I'm going to have to get up and find a, a, a knife to open it with. And I'm going to have to, oh, there's a, there's a record already on the turntable. I'm going to have to figure out where the sleeve is, the jacket of that record. Look around the room to find that record before I can put this record on. And you know what? There's an easier way. And I just pulled up my iPhone and uh, I've got Apple Music. And I just uh, pulled up that album and I, and I streamed it. I just laid there in bed and I enjoyed it. The whole thing streamed. And I felt guilty because I just paid almost 30 bucks for this record. And yet here I could have enjoyed it at home for free. I mean, think about the math. That record was almost 30 bucks. I only pay ten bucks a month for Apple Music. So how many month, how many records could you listen to in a month? I did a little math. There's like seven hundred and something hours in a month, and records are usually shorter than an hour. So you can literally listen to almost a thousand albums a month, straight through without any repeats, on Apple Music. And why would I pay thirty bucks to listen to one record? Streaming sounded great. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I've got a I've got a nice uh, stereo system here. I've got a streaming uh, integrated receiver. It's called Peach Tree Deco Sky. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, and you can literally uh, play any Wi-Fi music source on it: YouTube, Spotify, Apple, etc. And it's so easy. You don't even have to get up to turn the thing on. You can turn it on right from the phone. You can literally do it on Siri. You can just say, hey, Siri, play, you know, Beatles uh, Revolver or whatever, and it will do it. No album cover, nothing to look for. You don't have to get out of bed. You don't have to go down the hallway and, and see where the record is and take it out of the outer sleeve and then take out the inner sleeve and take the record out of the inner sleeve. So that's what I did. I listened to the whole record and I literally felt guilty. Like I bought this beautiful record. It's, it's literally right here on the bed next to me and I'm not touching it. I'm, I'm enjoying it online by streaming. And you know what? I, I would probably do it again and I'm sorry, that's, that's the way I feel. I can, I can enjoy more than, I can enjoy it more than one way. Uh, that's my confession, guys. This was hard to do because there's a lot of guilt behind this, but I'm letting it all hang out there. Yes, I did it. Yes, I enjoyed it. Yes, I probably, I definitely will do it again. Thanks for watching.